Hi friends, welcome to Civil Architecture Tutorials. Today's subject is why we have to add fly ash to a cement or why fly ash is adding to cement that we will discuss in detail today. We know the high brand cement companies like ACC, Ultratech are using fly ash to their cement and the cement to which fly ash is added is called Barcelona Portland Cement or PPC which is widely used and which is very popular in India is using in international projects too. So now we will see how the cement attains strength. Cement attains strength when we add water to it. That means the cement will react with water and it gains strength. So how this is being done we will see now. I will explain in detail the technical details behind the strengthening of cement. Okay, not into the general things that I am telling. I have to go deep into the technicalities of this reaction. So you know the cement is calcium sulphate, basically it is calcium sulphate and when water is added, added to it we can see the formula as tricalcium sulphate and dicalcium sulphate in the cement reacts with water. Okay, there are two things reacting with water, tricalcium sulphate means C3S and dicalcium sulphate is C2S. So let us see now this uh, C3S plus C6H2O, the, the tricalcium sulphate is reacting with water gives CSH and 3CH. 3CH means it's calcium hydroxide. So it gives a CSH, CSH and 3CH. And the dicalcium sulfate also reacts with water. C2S plus 4H2O gives CSH plus calcium hydroxide. Again, we are getting calcium hydroxide here. So these two reactions are happening when water is adding, added to the cement. When we are telling about the tricalcium sulfate this gives strength to the cement from the day 3 onwards so from the day 3 to day 7 this thing the tricalcium sulfate is acting more and gives much strength to the cement and doesn't mean that it is not giving strength afterwards it gives uh, strength to the cement in throughout 28 days okay and after 7 days the dicalcium sulfate is acting that is, it is at a slower pace but that also gives strength to the cement so now we know that there are two items giving strength to the uh, cement that is tricalcium sulfate and dicalcium sulfate the common factor is what calcium calcium is a thing which is giving uh, strength to the cement that is c c 3s and c 2s c is common okay now the Byproduct is CSH and 3CH and CSH and CH. So CSH is common in these two reactions and CSH is actually a gel. It, it is just a gel. And it gives 80% strength. Strength to the concrete. So but this 3CH and CH is then again we can see that is also being here in this uh, byproduct of this reaction. Okay. So let us uh, stop there this reaction you understand what is that now we know that when we are adding water to the cement and when the cement uh, whether it is acting in the concrete or in the cement itself there are some things which always prevent the cement to develop strength or it makes damage to the concrete or cement so there are four things for that the first is chloride okay the chloride means if if we are uh, doing a concrete work the chloride can come into contact with that concrete and it will react with the reinforcement steel bar and it corrodes or it rusts the rust and then it corrodes the steel bar so it will make a lot of damages to the concrete <clears throat> the second item which damages the concrete is sulfate <clears throat> sulfate occurs uh, mainly in groundwater so when we are doing some foundation work of course there will be some presence of sulfate and it will react with the cement or the concrete and it will damage and it will make cracks in the concrete so this is the second agent which will damage the concrete and third agent is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is always prevalent everywhere and it will damage concrete and the third fourth agent is alkaline silica which comes along with the coarse aggregate or sand that we are adding into the concrete there will be some reactive alkaline silica into it and this will also react with the concrete so these four agents will always have problem with the concrete so now come into the uh, this re reaction part that is we know that uh, when cement is added when water is added to the cement 
it will give a gel like CSH, uh, CSH and then the other product is 3CH that uh, here also CH that is calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide has, uh, has got a property in which it will react with anything which uh, comes into contact. That means the calcium hydroxide will react with chloride and then it will be a problem for the concrete. The calcium hydroxide reacts with uh, sulphate. It can join with sulphate and there will be chemical reaction happens and the concrete will get damaged. The same calcium hydroxide can react with carbon dioxide then also uh, sufficient damage can occur to the concrete. Again the fourth one which is the fourth one this is the alkali silica the reactive alkali silica which comes along with the coarse aggregate or sand can also react with the calcium hydroxide and then again the problem or damage can occur to the concrete. So we have to stop the friendship of this CH calcium hydroxide with these four four agents which damage the concrete so we have to cut that friendship of calcium hydroxide with chlorides sulfates carbon dioxide or alkali silica so how to do that that is one thing so for that we need to give another friend another friend to this calcium hydroxide so that they can make company so this calcium hydroxide have to forget these four agents so before making company with these four agents here the calcium hydroxide have to be a friend with the new agent that we are going to add so when you know the when nuclear reactors started in india uh, nuclear reactors they are always using coal as the main fuel so the coal had to burn in 1200 or 1400 degrees celsius and there will be a product uh, formed as uh, fly ash fly ash in it the fly ash also when it is burning uh, it changes to reactive items like alumina and silica okay so there are a lot of waste coming from this uh, nuclear reactors or power plants so the government want to uh, use that thing so they found that the scientists found that when we add that fly ash thing to this uh, cement thus we can make use of this calcium in this 3 3 ch or ch the i mean the calcium hydroxide will react with the fly ash and it will give more strength that will be act as a tertiary strengthening agent the first two strength as you know the first strength it will come from c3s and the second strength comes from uh, c2s and the third strength will come from this c the calcium or lime content of this three ch or the ch in this byproduct that is the calcium hydroxide can easily react with the fly ash uh, the reactive uh, fly ash like alumina and uh, reactive silica and it will give more strength to the concrete so after they find out that this is the best agent that we can use to the cement, they are adding that fly ash. So I think now you understand the technicality beyond, be behind why we are add, uh, adding fly ash to the cement. And it, it for just to give more strength to the uh, cement. And also it prevents its reaction with chlorides, sulfides, carbon dioxide and uh, alkaline uh, silica. <clears throat> so this much we know. There is, um, apart from uh, fly ash, we have another agent also which can be added to the cement that is called ggps that is ground granular blast furnace slag this is a product which we get from uh, metal factories or uh, where they are making metals they will they will uh, burn the ores of the metals in furnace at high temperature like 1200 degrees celsius and the byproduct of that is just like uh, the fly ash that we are getting in the power plants. Here, the byproduct is this uh, GGBS ground granular blast furnace slag. So, this can also be added to the cement, and we will get the same uh, result like we are adding the fly ash because it, it also will strengthen the cement. And the cement that is uh, obtained by adding this GGBS is called as Portland slag cement the cement that we add by adding fly ash to cement is Porcelona portland cement ppc this is uh, by adding the ggbs is portland slag cement we are mainly using this uh, portland slag cement in coastal areas where we are giving some marine structures where wherever the it comes with the, the sea water or the, the air in the sea when it comes into this uh, contact with this building 
it is best used in the coastal areas. The advantages of adding fly ash or uh, GGBS is that it gives more workability to the concrete. Uh, also, the setting time will be a bit less and it gives more strength to the concrete. So, these are the advantages of adding fly ash or GGBS. So, from today's video, I think you got uh, some idea regarding why we are adding fly ash to the cement and what the technicalities behind adding this uh, fly ash to the cement. How it gives strength, what all the things that adds up to the strength. So with this, I am ending today's video. Uh, I will come with another subject in a, in a new video. Till then, goodbye. Please subscribe, share and like my channel. Thank you very much.